talk a bit about your paint colors more and maybe how you came across choosing an iridescent paint? Right, it's not only iridescent paint, it's uh, also interference paint. Okay. And that's a painting that just got invented 20 years ago. And it's very interesting because it optically does exactly the opposite what a color is supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So like a red rose that rejects uh, just the red, that's why it looks red, but absorbs all the other colors. Interference colors does kind of the opposite. This painting that uh, the Hirschhorn now owns, <laughs> yes, <thank laughs> which I'm happy to say, <laughs> Uh, if you would try to follow the way that the colors are working yeah. there, uh, you would be at a complete loss. You know, like there is something that's completely not logical, the way that this is blue, for example. And this is exactly what I was just talking about. The color I put on it was a transparent color mm -hmm. that also, uh, if it is on that ground, disappears. But in the moment where it goes over black, it turns the black into a crazy blue. And that's the beauty of it. And that's something that you know, like I've uh, used together with all kinds of other things. I used, again, I started with the line. I, uh, those uh, shapes of the rabbits that look mm -hmm. as if they're cut out and uh, collaged on it, I actually uh, painted on it as well. They come from a drawing that I made, but they actually only look as if and the as if is a big theme in my paintings. Yeah. But it's never about that. It's always about making a painting more uh, alive. <laughs>